Layton, just walk me through it. What was it like to be out at your home course today? Oh, it was a great feeling. It's nice and foggy this morning. You could hardly see in front of you, but um, it was it was fun. I mean, we trained for this the past three weeks. We've been on it constantly, and I feel like that's really paid off. We know where to make those turns. Like I said in that interview earlier this week, um, but. Well, there's a couple of turns where some of those kids wouldn't wouldn't make that turn and we'd pass a good 20 group of guys and it's just fun to be out there and have my family out here supporting me as well. Oh, yeah. I heard over the PA system that uh, of course it's packed down, it's going to be a fast race. Did you kind of get that sense as you started off? And I had a gr really good feeling that was going to happen. It was been super dry the past couple of weeks and that's what you want in a cross course to be fast, nice and dry, not wet. We got a little rain yesterday, but I feel like that helped dampen it down a little bit for us. But yeah, I had a really good feeling that it was going to be quick to get today. There's a bunch of really elite D3 runners here, nationally ranked wide. Anyone on the walk me through it. I mean, the first race I got I got last. A very small field. This one slightly bigger. Does that kind of change how you attack the game? Absolutely. I mean, the goal is to get out hard, and I feel like we did that pretty well. I mean, me, Jay, and Emerson, we were right up front from the start, and I feel like just getting out in front early like that it really helps you get ahead of the pack so you don't get caught in any traffic that you don't want to be in. Wrapped up the race. What's next? What are you going to do for the rest of the day? Oh, my family's here. Um, my summer boss is here. Um, I feel like we'll probably go out to dinner or lunch or something and just kind of relax and enjoy the evening and just, just take it all in. Emma, just walk me through what it was like to be out there on your home course today. Okay. Um, today was a beautiful day for uh, racing. It was nice and cool this morning. It did get a little bit hot during the race, but I think the vibes were really good this morning going into it, being on our home course. Um, it was our first 6K of the season. We've never had a 6K this early. And I think as a team, we just performed so well. Uh, the energy was there and the race, we had a huge turnout of girls to race today. So the racing the field was a good experience. And, um, you know, being on our home course, we knew how to use those tangents. It went really well, I think, overall. I like the guys was buried in the fog. You guys actually were able to see them. Yeah. How important was it just to be able to visualize and see out there? Yeah. Um, so the fog, like, lifted up, like, probably 200 meters into our race. And when it kind of cleared up, like, the sun just came out, started beaming down. So maybe I would have preferred the fog to stay around just, like, a tiny bit longer for, like, that shade aspect. But as soon as it cleared up, I think it was kind of, like, game on. You could see everybody in front of you, see, like, the... Uh, the path ahead and kind of change the uh, competitiveness and vibe of it a little bit. One of the things that was mentioned over the PA before the men's race is that the course was packed down. It's going to be a fast course today. Did you feel that out there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I heard them saying that they said, like, the clay or something was going to make for a fast race. Um, Laverne, I think, is always surprisingly a fast race because you look out here and it's just curves and hills, but I think uh, a lot of people today were able to come out, perform, get PRs, and run really fast times on our course. If you look at the first meet of the season, there were four teams in it. This one's 30 yeah. plus. Did that change how you approach and how you attack it going out? Uh, I mean, I'd be lying to say that it doesn't change like your mindset a little bit. When you're thinking about getting out fast, you're thinking, I don't want to get boxed in. I don't want to get like in this mess of girls. But you also have to try to stay calm and keep that composure. You don't want to... Like, I try to go into it with the same mindset that I went into it with the four teams. You're just focusing on your race, trying to compete with the fields. Um, but I will say there's a lot more people to compete with today for, I think, our whole team, just having more groups of girls to work off of. So I think that was definitely helpful. The good thing about the race being done in the morning is that you got the rest of the day ahead of you. Oh, yeah. Plans? How are you going to rest and recover from that? Oh, man. I'm ready to tear up some food right now. I think maybe I'll go for a burger or... I don't know. I, I could really use a Coke. I always like a post-race Coke, you know. So, and the rest of the day is going to be chill. Probably take a nice long nap. Maybe watch a little bit of TV, catch up on some homework, and uh, right back here at Laverne tomorrow for a long run. So, <laughs> thank you.